This is uh, Terry and Rosie out here. We're gonna do a little demo. These are some of my favorite tools, the Maddox and reciprocating saw, or Sawzall, some people like to call it. We're gonna show you how uh, I like to take out roots, various sizes like this one here. We may work on this one. It's kind of hits the mower over the years and kind of problematic. It's a you trip over it and always cut over it every week. So it's a problem. Then we got some other little ones up here we're going to demo. So here we go. I uh, just wanted to show you this also works if you're taking out bushes and trees. Uh, you got a tree root because uh, a lot of people first thought they want to use the chainsaw. And the chainsaw, as soon as you hit the uh, ground in the dirt, it dulls it and it pretty much won't cut after that. So this is why you want to use uh, these type of tools here. Preferably, they have different uh, lengths of blades and depends what you're doing. This is just what I had handy. So this is what we're going to roll with today. And uh, that's Rosie. So I may have her do a little bit as well, but I'm going to start off uh, with some. So here we go. I'll demo some over here. We'll start on a couple smaller ones. Okay. Watch the mic and cover so you don't cover it. See, so you can see I got in the dirt and cut that. It's a real small one. It's about a half inch cut there. And people always ask if that's going to hurt the tree. And I wouldn't say it's good for it, but it's, the tree has so many roots. That's very uh, small portion of what uh, what the tree has. So here's a little bit bigger one. We're gonna try this one here. It's got a root over it, so we got a couple, couple different things we gotta cut. So that that's where this has the advantage. You can get down in the dirt. There you go. Wow. So that's kind of how you cut out tree roots. And if you're pulling a bush like over here on this bush uh, and you start to get it out and you wanted to cut some of the roots off of the bush to help pull it out, then this would be the tool to use. And, you know, periodically I usually just use my old blades for that and I try to keep this sharp, the Maddox. This is good for chopping either end. You can, I'll show you a little bit on this. So you can chop that. This is very sharp. I just sharpened it. Then also you can pry. So there you go. Just took out the root just with the Maddox. So. Mommy, can, can we take this off from, from the holder? From that. Yeah, you can take it off, but there's no purpose. It doesn't, won't work without a, uh, no, the handle. No, I don't handle. Make, make a handle somewhere. So, let's go over here and see about this big one. Now, not sure how complicated this one will be, but we'll give it a go and see what we can do. This one's much, much bigger. So, it's... This one may be more complicated. We'll see what we can do. This is where you want to use your Maddox and get up under it and pry up and see, see oh, what. It's easy to take off. So that's been a real problem in my yard for uh, as long as I've lived here, 30 years I've been running over this and hitting it and scalping it. And I finally got the time this afternoon for you guys on YouTube to show you how to 
for so many that. years so, now. Yeah. Now that I'm now that I'm leaving, I'm taking this out. So. But, what the heck? A, for many years, years you don't you, you don't pay attention for that. Now that you're leaving, you take it. And off. then you can you can kind of use your Maddox and so bring in some of the dirt there and grass and fill that in. So. Now it went from a real problem with tripping and stumbling and hurt damaging your mower to just nice grass again. Did you want to try a one? No, okay. No, no, Let's come over here. I think there's a couple over here we'll try. So, but yeah, that's kind of how you uh, take out the uh, a landscaper might do. There may be other uh, ways to do it, but this is some of my two favorite tools for any roots in your yard. Don't do it so much, otherwise you're going to kill the trees. Well, the tree has hundreds and thousands. That's one. Yeah. That's we'll see how this goes. Here, we'll do this one here. This is probably three inches thick. Mm -hmm. And we've got a couple, uh, about three feet. <laughs> So easy peasy, because as you could say. In a few seconds it's done. So again, if you can look at that, look at the end. That was like if you would uh, trip or fall down, you could injure yourself on that. Of course, you could never cut over it, even though that's in the bed. Yeah. But there's a tree root, so just ideal tools so this is what I've been using for years and like I said once again if you're pulling a bush or tree small tree you're going to run into roots like this that hold it in the ground and you get up under it with that tool there the reciprocating saw and you can cut it out and then you can remove your bush so that's what you want to so that's what you can do in your landscape and yard when you're removing bushes or trees or uh, doing some stuff. I've been using these for uh, 30, 40 years. And the battery power really makes it nice because you can just take that anywhere in the yard and work with it. Back when I first started, you have to have a cord and plug it in and you can go anywhere on your property and use this one because it's battery operated. Mm -hmm. So let's see, I think there's a couple others out here. How are we doing on the time? All right. I'll demo, demonstrate the Maddox a little bit here on these uh, ones close to the tree. We'll just see how quickly we can chop these out. See, and the advantage of the Maddox is once you cut, you can pull on it and you can find out where the uh, where it's anchored in because sometimes they'll have roots like here. If you get up close, there's a root uh, growing in the dirt here, so you see that. So you can now chop it, see, and remove it because sometimes the roots got side roots. See, there's a little one there. And that's just using the Maddox. And either tool, the, the dirt doesn't affect too much. Now, if you were to do that with your chainsaw, the blade would be dull and ruined and you would not be able to make the cut. Yeah. Chainsaw's not the right tool for getting in the dirt. So let's see. Here's an example, one not so much of a problem, but it's buried down the dirt. We'll uh, go after this with the reciprocating saw. See, over the years, this would just get bigger and bigger, and then the mower would start hitting it and it'd be a trip hazard it may take another five or six years so see so once again we can get up under this and pry 
and while we're prying, we're looking for other roots. See, there's a root here uh, holding it in, so then we know to give it a little chop there. Once again, we're out, got another root, about 15, 20 inches long, inch or two thick there on the end. Just chuck that in the woods. Then you can uh, bow quickly by spring, that will fill in and not be a problem. So, so let me look around here, see if there's anything else. So if you guys have any questions uh, in the comments, let me know that maybe tips or tricks that you may use, but that's my go-to. I've been uh, working in the landscaping business for 41 years, so doesn't mean I know everything, but it does mean I've uh, got a little bit of experience. That's why I got all the gray hair. So, all right, let's go over here. We'll, we'll see about this one. We may do uh, may do the Maddox. Well, we'll just do the Maddox. I got it so sharp. The advantage with the Maddox over the reciprocating saw is you can pry with it and lift up with the sawzall. If it has roots out the side like this, um, there you know you can't lift up and pry it out. So if you're, it's it's best if you just cut here and there, although you can cut on the side. But so I like either tool, but it depends on the root. So you can see how quick and I've just improved my property a great deal because the landscaper might come out and that might be a $100 uh, worth of work uh, in chopping roots if he came out and did that and you could do it in just a few minutes with these simple tools. This is probably a, uh, let's say a $25, $35 tool at Home Depot and Lowe's. This is a little more pricey. Um, I'm not really sure for sure, but uh, I'd say that might be $100, $150 for this reciprocating saw. So, but they're like all tools. If you have the work for them and stuff, you're, uh, uh, it's, it's worth it. Cause like I said, you'd pay a, a professional landscaper $100 or more to come out and do the roots that we did already because he'd have to drive out and you know get everything ready and this and that and if you had this at your house you can quickly come out and do it and as you find other projects or like i said if i wanted to remove that tree i could cut the uh, dig you dig out the dirt i'll explain that a little bit and uh you dig out the dirt and when you find roots you cut it until you could pull you know pull that out yeah. So that'd be on that. So, so that's that. Did you want to try one? Yeah. yeah. Rosie's gonna. She's gonna try a little one over here. She's never done it before, so she's gonna. Try She's gonna switch. That's why you have both tools for different purposes. So she's never used a reciprocating saw, I don't believe, and she's uh, she has swung the Maddox a few times. So she's getting in there with that. That's easy. That's easier than. So she's got that out. Okay. Here, do this one here. That little one there. I got the one who's not Go ahead, doesn't matter. See? <laughs> See, that's how she's a little 90 pound, yeah. pound okay. lady. So, well, overall, let's uh, talk about it a minute. So, out of the two tools, Rosie, what do you think of them? You like them? I like it when you cut the big roots with this one. But of course, it's hard for this. But if just a little bit, it's much more easier using the Maddox. Yeah, she prefers the Maddox, and I would agree yeah, on little because stuff. You see, it's you more can use your force. Yeah, it's yeah. more maneuverable. Yeah. 
but uh, when you're trying to chop a bigger root and you're hitting yeah. the ground, what a Maddox will tend to do, especially if it's not sharp, will bounce yeah. the root and they'll, I couldn't really demo that for you today, but. And this one too, it's very useful. The I root would be. Uh, to hammer the big one like. Yeah, you can cut. It's yeah. like a uh, axe. Yeah. One that's why it's called a Maddox. Mm -hmm. It's an mm -hmm. axe with a uh, pick kind of a mm -hmm. wedge-shaped thing. So there you have it. So there's the two tools for uh, cutting out plants and cutting your roots and repairing uh, things like that in your landscape that uh, are problematic for you. Very handy tools yep. for the landscaper. So. Appreciate y'all watching, so appreciate it. Like and subscribe. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye.